All right, here we are again with the uh, Chinese four core, two gigabyte RAM stereo. Um, if you're having trouble with the Android Auto or Z-Link, uh, here's an easy fix. Uh, go ahead and go into your phone's Bluetooth settings. And if you've already connected to CarBT, disconnect from CarBT. Then we can go to the Z-Link. Right here. Z-Link 5. Go over to Settings. And come down here to Default Connection Type. You want Link Mode first. You don't want mirror mode or last mode. All right. Now, you're done with that. We go back to settings and we want to reset the stereo. And uh, the easiest way I know of is just to go into the factory settings and do a reboot. All right. And when the stereo reboots, go back into your phone and then reconnect to CarBT. And... Uh, that should work. Okay, we're back. What I had to do is both on the head unit and on the phone, connect and disconnect the phone and the car BT several times. And finally... On like the third attempt, they're not talking to each other. So uh, the Android Auto is working. Got the phone. Uh, go to Xenix. Yep. That's the map I have on my Google phone right now. So, uh. Looks like the pairing worked. So it looks like auto or Android Auto is working. I did not have to download their Z Links app. Uh, this is just working with Android Auto, so I imagine work with Apple CarPlay too. So uh, success. Music's connected, phones connected. Um Took a little bit of figuring out how to get it to work, but there you go. It's all up and running. And um, like I suggested that you extend the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antennas on the back of the stereo. They're normally about an inch and a half long, little two blue wires on the connector that goes to the reverse camera. Yeah, definitely extend those about a foot because... I'm a good 30 yards away from my uh, Wi-Fi router, and I've got pretty good signal. So uh, I was able to upload apps all the way out here in the in the uh, in the driveway. So there you go, little update. She's up and running. And uh, enjoy. It.